today I got uh, all the stuff for the 6.8 Western, all the little pieces and parts. I've been looking forward to uh, putting this together and trying to make the gun I have a little lighter um, and shoot a little better. It shoots good, but a little stiffer stock and whatnot. So I got a Macmillan stock. They're not very cheap, but I think it'll add a lot to this X-Bolt. And then I got a loophole. 315. And some covers, the magnet ones that I really like, and some rings. And I'll be putting this together and uh, we'll see how it turns out. So I just weighed the gun. It's 12 pounds right now. Um, that's with everything. And a lot of it is this scope. It's an Arkin. They're nice scopes. I have nothing wrong with them. They are just a little heavy and I'm trying to make this gun a little lighter. So hopefully I can achieve that with some of these features. And the stock I chose is they don't have the carbon fiber, but it's light nonetheless. It only weighs, uh, it says 31 ounces, but it weighs on the scale more like 1.7 pounds. So it has swings, swivel studs, which are okay. Not my favorite, but there's not a lot of options for the X-Bolt, so... all put together I think it looks pretty good and I weighed it I lost a pound and a half so not a lot but it's something I'm happy with that it feels more balanced and more comfortable to carry so I won't complain I do like these magnetic cups they're waterproof there's a little o-ring right there where i live in oregon it definitely helps with the rain because we get a lot of rain and i like this little push button instant open which is always nice so i decided to bed the action i was going to use some two-part and i got it all taped off and then I'll put some on there and then clamp it down and let it dry. It should help with the accuracy too. The compound has had enough time to set. <clears throat> now I'm going to take the clamp off and see how it has set. clean up the spillage and then it should be ready to go. Mm -hmm. 